Hey YouTubers, this is Tim from JLMiniatures.com. Uh, this right here is the review for the uh, Beastman uh, Minotaur uh, box set. Uh, I guess got this uh, the other day and I wanted to take and uh, go through and show you what it had in it. Uh, first of all, it comes with uh, three Minotaurs. Uh, the Minotaurs are a front and back. You see right there, this right here is the uh, front, um, the back. So it'll have one leg on one, one leg on the other. Um, to tell you the truth, I really did not care for this um, this box set. I wish they would have done a lot better job. I really uh, do not like the fur that they put on there. It's just really uh, kind of patchy. Um, I'm trying to get some close-ups so you can see. Uh, basically, they did uh, some on the chest, uh, some on the thigh. Um, it's really kind of hard to see right there. Um, a little bit on the forearms and the upper arms, where you can see them if it doesn't have the uh, uh, doesn't have the armor on them. Uh, one thing I really did like uh, the armor is uh, really battle worn. Um, they did a really good job um, doing different pieces on there, so it's not totally uh, uniformed. Another thing I liked uh, this box set comes with uh, two hand weapons, uh, great weapons hand weapon and shield or command so you have four different options for three guys which means uh, you get quite a few bits which is really nice for uh, GW to do finally I, I like where you can get the extra bits um, the uh, standard right there uh, I think they did a fantastic job on I really like the way it looks um, the standard tops you get two to choose from here's one right here Turn the other one over, and here's the other one. Um, the shields uh, for these guys are massive, which for me, uh, Minotaur should have massive shields to begin with just to make them look correct. You don't want making it look like they have a buckler on their arm. Um, they do have what they call like a mane on their back. You can see that groove right here down the middle of the back and that's what these are for um, they come with spikes on them they, these ones here have uh, skulls um, I'm not really sure I'm not really a big fan of having the whole main thing going down um, another thing they did um, is they kinda gave them toes which I always thought minotaurs had hooves um, I always liked the hoof type uh, effect on them um, these multi-toed things. Um, I think they could have just done hooves and made it look a lot nicer. Um, another thing you'll notice, um, I'll show you the box cover later to, to really emphasize it, but what it is is uh, the legs and the body look like they're on steroids. These things are just crazy muscular. Um, me, I'm not really into the whole, you know, muscular um, minotaur type of thing. I wish they would have done it um, a lot thinner with their their legs, um, not as many um, muscles. I didn't really care for that. Um, what they do give you is, uh, I believe it's uh, six sets of horns. So for three guys, you get three uh, six sets of horns. So you're gonna have some extras there. Um, the hand weapons, I love the hand weapons. They did a fantastic job. Um, these would look really good on uh, if you're going to do some conversion work with uh, ogre butchers. So you could really do some uh, fantastic conversion work, which that's what I will be working on. Um, here's some just regular hand weapons. So if you're going to do like a hand weapon and shield, these guys would look fantastic with that. Um, that is uh, sprue number two. This is uh, sprue number three to give you an idea. Um, what it also does is, um, you can see the heads right here. Their heads are super, super muscular. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan of having the muscular heads. Um, the great weapon right there, fantastic. Uh, love them. Um, this right here is a drum that has their uh, hand already attached to it. It looks, it looks nice. Um, not really too impressive or anything, but it does look nice, um, especially if you're looking for a command. Um, here's some more heads down here. Uh, they give you. I believe it's five heads um, for three guys. So you're going to have some, a couple extra heads. 
Um, really nice. They're highly detailed. They did a fantastic job on the sculpts. I just wish they weren't uh, quite as muscular looking. Um, they are a two-piece head, so you're going to have a you know a left and a right side to them, which is uh, really no big deal. But uh, for the most part, I think they did a, a really good job on uh, putting these together. I think it's going to really limit the uh, the mold lines and uh, the spacing in between some of the parts. I think they did a fantastic job when it comes to that. Um, I'm going to take and show you the box again. The box, I'm trying to get some of the light in there. You can see how the the legs right there are just, they're huge. They're like tree trunk type style. And they're just over, over muscular. I think what, if I take and uh, build them, I'm going to shave them down a bit and not give them as many muscles. Um, I just don't think that Minotaur should be like totally ripped, like they just got out of the gym. Um, but you know, if you're into that kind of thing, then these are a good uh, box set. Uh, I basically am going to use them for uh, conversion work. I think what I'm going to do is end up using the Minotaurs um, for werewolves for my vampire accounts. Um, I'm going to basically use them as a like a dogs of war ogre army or an ogre unit and uh, just give them uh, claws and stuff like that and see how that looks uh, if you guys have any questions or comments uh, please uh, leave them I would love to hear from you uh, this is Tim from jlminiatures.com thank you